Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I posted the last video. So today I'm back with an update about FB stock. So I will try to upload more um, from now on as there's more volatility in the market and I think that's something more interesting. So without further ado, let's get started. So recently Facebook stock has dropped to it's almost a 52 weeks low. Its current price level is around 205. I saw there's both internal and external factors for this big price drop. I remember in one day that the price dropped around 20%. I think there's something wrong with my stock trading app because as a blue chip stock like Facebook, it's rare to have this big drop. I mean, we expect the fan stock are more stable comparing with other speculative stock like Peloton and SoFi. So the first reason of the stock drop is that Facebook has announced its latest earnings and its user growth has been slowed down. And it's also announced that it has been shifted its focus to more on the metaverse division, which is a division that burns like $10 billion a year without having any positive revenue to the company yet. So I think the rationale here is that a lot of investors, they are expecting the positive cash flow from the company, but suddenly there's the company is burning so much money in, the, uh, in their futuristic vision that hasn't been so clear in the past yet. So the investors was like, wait, wait, wait. It seems that the profitability of the company is not as much as before. So they may be gonna redo the valuation of the company and lower down this expectation. Because in the past one year, it has been crazy that Fed has bring the liquidity to the market and uh, people just uh, evaluating the stock based on the growth. As long as there's user growth story, they are willing to bet big for the big future. But things, uh, the Fed is gonna add interest rate in the coming March. So it feels like the enthusiasm of the investors has been calmed down a little bit. So the second reason of the stock drop, I think is also because of external factors. Since these two years, there's a big threat ex externally from its competitor, TikTok. And it seems that a lot of young people or influencers, they are rushing to the other platform. That brings a lot of stress to Facebook as its user growth has slowed down. It will also affect its revenue growth. So if you guys have noticed when you scroll the Instagram, so previously there's like one ad for every four posts, but nowadays there's one ad every three posts. And obviously Facebook is trying to make it more money for consumers. So nowadays Facebook is trying to monetize more per users. It can also show that they have been quite, they have a big pressure from the profitabilities of the current business. The third reason is from the regulatory as well as the industry perspective, as the government is putting more pressure on Facebook for its antitrust concerns and uh, as we see, there's other players in the industry. So Apple has launched the privacy setting in the latest year that the users can adjust their privacy and not allow the app to track. So that will lower down the accuracy of Facebook advertising and that would cause around billions of losses for its advertisement. As previously, Facebook is famous for its accurate targeting. So now without the cross app tracking or using cookies, it doesn't, it will not provide as accurate as to the advertiser. 
before. So I feel like those advertisers may seeking for alternatives, maybe the cheaper ones like Snapchat or some big channels like Google search ads. So given all these concerns externally and internally, so it seems that Mark Zuckerberg has bet big into the metaverse. But right now, although the company has demonstrated the great meta world in its presentation, there's like realistically, realistically speaking, there's not a certain product that bring profit to the Facebook company to its balance sheet yet. Although there's a lot of concerns about the company as there's a lot of uncertainty about the future of Metaverse, whether it will bring the huge profit to the company uh, comparing with what it has been invested for now. And also there's the competitors like Apple and Google, they have more widened ecosystem like their like the iOS and the Android operating system come like which is more powerful than Facebook's mode if you are saying that but I still think there are some uh, basic advantages of Facebook that hasn't been changed a lot and I do think that this market this market overreaction can give us investors some opportunities so the first is, as I also mentioned in the previous video, is that the nature of the social networking industry is that once people have this network in one platform, it's hard to for them to migrate to other platforms. For example, I may open a new TikTok account or Snapchat account and I would make new friends in other social platforms. But if I'm looking for my old friends or previous friends, I'm still going going to back to my platforms like Facebook and Instagram where I already built a lot of connections and I would like to reconnect with those connections. It feels like it's like moving even though you are moving from Chicago to New York but your friends is still in Chicago and if you are gonna connect with your old friends, you are still going back to the old places. And the second reason is that I think Facebook still have the co Facebook are still the company that the CEO and founder is the same person and I feel like that makes a big difference when comparing with some companies that their current CEO is not the founders. Sometimes when I see some companies is dropping and it's performance is not as good as before and I realized that the current CEO maybe is just doing a job there rather than do running rather than making it a big deal and I feel like Zuckerberg is still young and ambitious and I believe that he still want to do something rather than just rest on what he already accomplished given that Mark Zuckerberg is still at a young age and he's very ambitious so I feel like in the future there's still a lot of things that can be done. So my plan about the stock is at the current price of 205 I plan to buy something about 5% of my total portfolio not that much as we know that the market is volatile anything could happen in the future and the stock market has will collapse even more so yeah i would be very interested to see how this goes especially in the new competition phase in the metaverse world where the big tech companies like facebook google apple and microsoft all participate in it so really looking forward to see what's gonna happen next so i think that's almost all about facebook uh, some my thoughts today hopefully that's helpful somehow uh, thank you guys for watching again and i will see you in my next one bye